Saudi Arabia's The Line, a $1 trillion skyscraper that will transform the future. The world is moving at an electric fast pace with the advancement in technology and infrastructure, and Saudi Arabia is going the same way with its numerous notable examples of excellent building constructions. Even though Saudi Arabia has had some wild architectural plans in the past, their ambition to construct a 170-kilometer-long skyscraper is out of this world. Up to 9 million people will be able to fit inside the $1 trillion megastructure, and commutes between neighborhoods will take 20 minutes. But how will they make it happen? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to our channel, Arab Money. In today's video, we're going to discuss the $1 trillion skyscraper that will transform the future. So make sure to watch the video till the end to find out more. Many Middle Eastern countries are working to transition away from carbon-based economies and toward alternatives that drove visitors from across the world for tourism, commerce, employment, or residence. This is necessary given how quickly climate change is progressing. One such instance is the NEOM development, which will be constructed in Saudi Arabia. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia's $1 trillion mega project will undoubtedly be a component of NEOM's desert complex. At first glance, it appears to be the opening scene of a gloomy future film set on a remote planet. But these are the designs for a cutting-edge linear city that will actually exist on our planet. The architectural concept behind it, which goes by the name The Line, is magnificent. Nine million people will be housed in two mirrored buildings that span more than 100 kilometers of desert. Consisting of two wall structures parallel to each other, the walls will have mirrored facades reflecting the surrounding desert. When finished, the building will have residential apartments, retail space, and leisure amenities, as well as parks and schools. In terms of its interior, a layered vertical city is created by the functional components that are dispersed within the walls of the collection of fragmented buildings and connected to one another by bridges, parkways, and green spaces. According to Neom's press release, the line will have a footprint of 34 square kilometers, which is unheard of when compared to other cities with comparable populations. This will mean a reduced infrastructure footprint, creating never-before-seen efficiencies in city functions, according to Neom. Adding to this, by providing an ideal climate all year round, it will ensure that residents can enjoy the surrounding nature. Residents will be able to access all facilities within a five-minute walk, in addition to high-speed rail, with an end-to-end -end transit of 20 minutes. The designs of the line embody how urban communities will be in the future in an environment free of roads, cars, and emissions, said Neom. In contrast to traditional cities, the line will run entirely on renewable energy and put people's health and well-being above transportation and infrastructure. Neom claims that the line's infrastructure prioritizes conservation overgrowth and that it will contribute to protecting 95% of Neom's territory. In addition, when the Kingdom Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman recently outlined key components of what he intends to be one of the most ambitious infrastructure plans, both opponents and supporters gained more understanding of the development's extraordinary ambition, the centerpiece of the futuristic Neom site near the Gulf of Aqaba. The idea of this city, according to sources, has a zero-gravity urbanism stance. According to the announcement, a novel method of urban planning could be used to construct the line. In order to allow individuals to move easily in three dimensions, up, down, or across, to reach them, the proposal, for instance, places all the layered city operations vertically. Urbanism and zero gravity is the term used to describe this idea. Additionally, rather than focusing only on towering buildings, the design overlays all public parks and pedestrian spaces, as well as houses, workplaces, and schools, allowing people to easily travel to fulfill all of their daily needs in under five minutes. We cannot ignore the livability and environmental crisis facing our world cities, and Neon is at the forefront of delivering new and imaginative solutions to address these issues. Neom is leading a team of the brightest minds in architecture, engineering, and construction to make the idea of building upwards a reality, said HRH Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Neom will be a place for all people from across the globe to make their mark on the world in creative and innovative ways. Neom remains one of the most important projects of Saudi Vision 2030, and our commitment to delivering the line on behalf of the nation remains resolute, the Crown Prince concluded. Although architects and economists have questioned the viability of Neom, its projected flourishes, such as flying cars and robot maids, have always raised eyebrows. The 500-meter-high, 200-meter-wide edifice, a car-free, carbon-neutral bubble that will claim nearly 100% sustainability and a moderate controlled microclimate will be centered on artificial intelligence, according to the Saudis. 
Environmentalists, however, have expressed skepticism in response to previous environmental commitments made by the kingdom, such as a promise to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2060. It will operate on 100% renewable energy, including the operations of its industries. The integration of nature and open spaces throughout it will serve as an important role in purifying air quality, according to Neom. In addition, Neom stated on its website that the line is built for humans, not technology. It is conceived as a cognitive city that predicts and reacts to what we need, not the other way around. In order to change business as usual, the city's design will be completely digitized and the construction industrialized to a large degree by significantly advancing construction technologies and manufacturing processes, Neom stated. The line, which was first unveiled last year, is also being developed to link the coastal, coastal desert, mountain, and upper valley ecologies. What had previously been an idea that even some of the project planners had found challenging to visualize has now taken on color thanks to multimedia presentations. The slickly produced movie depicts a megacity with hanging gardens that somehow mimic the Death Star. Furthermore, Prince Mohammed's efforts to change the kingdom from an oil-dependent economy and conserve society that he believes are unfit to propel the country ahead are centered on his vision for modern life. According to Prince Mohammed, the first phase of the project, which would last until 2030, would cost 1.2 trillion Saudi riles. Other than government grants, prospective funding sources include the business sector and Neom's anticipated IPO in 2024. In addition to all of this, Prince Mohammed has reportedly informed advisors and planners that he wants Saudi Arabia to have its own replica of the pyramids and that he wants the nation to enjoy the same kind of international notoriety as other nations in the region. However, several analysts have questioned if the project can ever get off the ground due to the project's extravagant nature and its numerous manifestations over the past five years. With little access to the site and only eight years left before residents are meant to move in, it's a lot to take on trust said one consultant who works closely with the Saudi government. And then there's the inertia in the system. It's hard to exercise that. In addition, Robert Mogulniki of the Arab Gulf State Institute in Washington told Aegean's French Press, the concept has morphed so much from its early conception that it's sometimes hard to determine its direction, scaling down, scaling up, or making an aggressive turn sideways. Neom has also opened an exhibition in Jeddah to share the previously revealed designs for the line with the general public in order to further highlight the exquisite side of the skyscraper. Visitors were able to better appreciate the breadth and complexity of the project because to the show's inclusion of the line's architectural concepts, renderings, and detailed designs. Lastly, Prince Mohammed is looking for a national population increase because he believes it will be necessary to turn Saudi Arabia from the largest exporter of crude into an economic powerhouse. That's the main purpose of building Neom, he said, to raise the capacity of Saudi Arabia, get more citizens and more people in Saudi Arabia, and since we are doing it from nothing, why should we copy normal cities? In addition, he said that Neom could create up to 380,000 jobs in the face of an increase in the population and a high proportion of young people looking for work. So, a city without any roads, vehicles, or pollution, as well as high-speed rail lines that reduce travel time from point A to point B to no more than 20 minutes is soon going to become a reality. But will this linear city actually function as intended? Given its current magnificence, it will be difficult for anyone in the world to surpass a metropolis like this, but only time will tell. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will be back soon with more amazing content, so stay tuned. And don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our latest updates. Thanks for watching.